I'm here with Nick Schaefer and today he's going to teach me how to putt, especially in the wind. So what's the first thing I need to know about putting and this wind is definitely not helping us right now? First thing you'd want to do is you'd want to take a peek at which way your putt's breaking or if it's uphill or downhill. Let's go. Okay, this one's going to okay. be a tough putt. Is it a tough one? It's going to break a lot. I would stand behind it. I'd probably take a lap around the hole. Okay. Just to make sure, like, sometimes putts look differently from different sides of the hole. Okay. And then I would get down and look, and if you look, you can see that the putt breaks to the right. Right. And it's obviously uphill, so you have to hit it a little harder. Step two would be, you'd get up to the ball and take a couple practice strokes, kind of get your feel for how hard you need to hit it. Okay. Standard would be like this. Okay. I would hold it like this. Okay, what is that, three fingers under? Three fingers and then one finger over the top. Okay. Okay, so step step three. So after you look at, look at your butt, take your practice strokes, you'd want to line up. Some people put a line on their ball so they can line it up. Oh, there's, okay. Like at the hole. I don't do that. I just go like this. And then you, you want to pick out a spot that you want the ball to roll over. Okay, so step four would be Line up to the ball. Okay. Would be on this side of my body. Okay. So I want to hit right here, right? Oh! Probably get closer to the ball. Closer you, to the ball? Like, you want it to, like, if you drop the ball from in between your eyes, it would land on the putter. Oh. So you want to be, like, right over it. There it is. Oh! So it goes! So you look there. And then you look down, keep your eyes on the ball the whole time? Yeah, you just, you look at the hole in the ball. Some people do it more than others. Just kind of tell you feel comfortable over it, what your line's going to be. So how long have you been golfing? <laughs> like? Like, since I was like three years old. Okay. So UND ball, this is it. <laughs> See, normally that would be. Well, thank you so much, even though I didn't do that well, but. Good evening and welcome back to the Layer Center. I'm Rayo Ballin, your host, and we have a couple of familiar faces here. We have Brad, Tom, and Professor White from the University of North Dakota. So guys, let's start out with the football team's loss this weekend against Sacramento. 49-41. 49-41 against San Diego, and uh, you know, Marcus Henderson threw for 430 yards. That's probably the best offense they've had against an FBS opponent, so, um, you know, they, they said after the game they weren't happy with just going down there and, and having a close game against that kind of team, so um, I'll come back here and head out to California again, play Sacramento State, so now the Big Sky Conference schedule starts, and that's when things get interesting. I also want to add, too, that I, uh, I enjoyed the game and I thought that they had a slow start out there, but they turned around the second half and I thought we ran out of time. I think we had one, five more minutes, we might have beaten them. would have been different yep. if we had. <laughs> yes, I do. Five more minutes, different game. Yep. 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 And this, you got, you have, you know, UND went from being such a run game last year with, you had Fresno State, and they ran the ball. That's how they stayed in that game. Now, all of a sudden, you know, they throw for 430 yards and almost completely abandoned the run game. So, you, what are we talking all about All right, now? so let's move on to something exciting uh, that happened this last weekend, volleyball, with uh, their first win in the big sky. Let's cover that a little That's bit. That's pretty historic. Montana on Saturday after losing to uh, Montana State on Thursday night. So uh, get that monkey off the back a little bit. And, you know they made some made some changes in the lineup, and they think uh, uh, might make a difference here. And this weekend they go out to Idaho State and Weber State, and uh, you know Idaho State's supposed to be a pretty good school in the Big Sky. They they've already got victories over UNLV and Fresno State, I believe. So that'll be a pretty good test for them. And a real exciting group too. Um, I've been here for a while too, so I've seen the um, expectations much higher. We were really disappointed Friday night too. We thought we'd sweep these two teams as we stepped there too. But uh, yeah, a little spoil up here, but uh, right at the helm, and we're pretty excited for the rest of the season. It's kind of exciting, um, definitely. Obviously, hockey's big here, football's big here, even basketball's picking up. But now seeing a women's sport, definitely like making headlines. That's I think is really exciting. Yeah, I think fans just uh, like watching a, a winning team and a yeah. team that... Okay, on to the fun part. Picks for the week. So, coming up we have football in California again. 
I'm going to say uh, UND wins that game. The offense keeps rolling. Uh, yeah, I agree. We're uh, acclimated now to California. We're going to go out there and we're going to get that right formula of the balanced running attack with our uh, high-powered uh, passing game. And uh, I say we win by, uh, by 10 points. Uh, I'm going to agree with these guys. But I'm going to call it a closer game. I'm going to say UND by Zeb Miller field goal. I guess we'll see what's the matchup between Tom and Brad over here because you guys are pretty neck and neck. So. We know I'm going to throw it ahead. So <laughs> oh, Brad's going to throw ahead. Okay. I guess we'll see. Um, up next, we have a couple games of volleyball. We're playing Sacramento, they're playing Colorado, and Idaho. I'm going to say the volleyball team uh, uses the, the momentum from the win over Montana and uh, wins all three of them. I have to be overly optimistic as well. Uh, conference weekend, opening weekend, uh, chance to get out and show what they have. Um, I'd say a sweep as well. I'm going to be a little less optimistic and I'll go with a 2 and one for the, those three. Can you give us a specific game that they're not going to win? They're not going to beat Idaho State. Mm -hmm. So I Idaho guess we'll see. <laughs> Alrighty. And that's something that's passionate to me, like I've said before, and you guys better get this right. Soccer this weekend. It's the only home game. I'm going to say uh, I expect uh, Rhea Ballin uh, to have no less than three goals this weekend against Portland State and a uh, 3-2 victory. Yep, after thinking about it, I think that you're going to get the winning goal on Saturday and uh, UND beats Portland State 1-0. I'll say they pull off the, the weekend sweep too now. And, uh... You made the right decision, let me tell you. <laughs> and you're Do you know me? I run a multi-million dollar business. It requires working with accounting, sales, and marketing. That one. But being in charge has its perks. I get the corner office with a view. And it all started with a great education. I got mine at UND. I'm Dave St. Peter, president of the Minnesota Twins. This is my UND and me story. Can online courses add flexibility to your schedule? <laughs> Should you climb a rock wearing spandex? Learn more at und.edu slash online. If you take an online course, will your transcript look the same? Do great minds think alike? Learn more at und.edu slash online.